everybody and welcome back to Bake Mess. I'm wearing pajamas today. Even though you can't see, I did in fact wear the matching bottoms and slippers. It's not because this is like a breakfast themed thing. It's just because I'm tired and I want to be comfortable. So if I no longer wear like nice sweaters, you'll know. Also because I'm just ruining them all. My dry cleaning bill is about to be insane. For today's video, I am making a hot chocolate cake and I'm really excited about this. I had high hopes of making my own homemade marshmallows, but it's really fucking hard and time got away from me, so I didn't. But this is basically like hot chocolate in a cake. Swiss Miss. Let's begin. So for the chocolate cake layers, I basically just use the exact same chocolate cake recipe that I do for all of my chocolate layer cakes. I've done it in my mocha chocolate cake, the raspberry chocolate cake for Ace Lim Paul's birthday. My birthday! Which this year and I are getting like a treacle tart. <laughs> so I'm not gonna show you guys how to do that. You can literally watch two videos on it and I have a whole post on that So I will link that all down below after I baked those I leveled them and then put them in the fridge So that's where they are now and they're chilling getting like zannied out <laughs> Ah, goals. And now I'm gonna move on to the marshmallow filling. Now this is a little complex, mostly because it requires, hoochie, put them there. Can you imagine, like I have my hand on my waist? Put her there. This is uh, a thermometer, one that with the, the laser pointer. Ironically, you're like, Megan, but you said you weren't gonna make real marshmallows. You were gonna just have marshmallow filling. <sighs> we have some water in here, and then into that I'm also adding <laughs> <laughs> corn syrup? Actually, I lied. I'm not actually using corn syrup. I'm using agave. Mostly because I went to Whole Foods. But you can use agave, you can use honey. Also, how do you get syrup out of corn? Did you ever thought about that? It's fucking weird. Not that that's already not sweet enough. We're adding sugar. And we're going to just stir this to combine, but we're not gonna continuously stir it because then it will crystallize. Agave smells weird. We are just going to let it get hotter than where it's at now. Don't walk away from this. We're still gonna watch it and you have your thermometers or I have my thermometers. I don't know what you're doing. You're probably just sitting at home watching this and re-watching Christmas prints, the Christmas switch. Is that what that princess switch? I think, hmm, the pr a Chris, a princess for Christmas. <laughs> my goal, I found out that I'm really a princess. I am Meghan Markle. If you have a candy thermometer, this is when you'd stick it in and you wanna wait till it gets to about 225 degrees Fahrenheit. And so I'm gonna be periodically checking in on it. A few moments later. Now that my mixture is about at 225, I'm going to put my egg whites into my stand mixer along with the cream of tartar. And this just helps it hold peaks. And we're going to whip this up until soft peaks. That's at soft peaks and we've got five, seven, three, okay, do, do be math, be math, be math. And also, I just automatically associate agave with tequila, so it just smells like tequila. Like someone's like, wanna see a cool shot? I can do it, I can it on fire. It's called like a something nipple. All the ones that are on fire feel like are always called nipples. <laughs> like the slippery nipple one, which I'm also like, a slippery nipple. Like not one's ever been like, damn, my nipple is so slippery. Like, this is a problem I'm currently experiencing. Like, I wish someone would name a shot after Please, it. please, someone acknowledge and represent my slippery nipple. Doing a good job. Math, 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 math. Okay, you're really hot. We are at 240 and we are working fucking fast. I'm going to put my mixer on low speed and I'm gonna continuously pour this in while the mixer is on. Two thousand years later. Turn it up to high speed for seven to eight minutes until it gets thick and glossy. Six hours later. Wow, I forgot what quiet sounded like. I'm gonna talk really loudly. It's like when you get off a walk -evator or an escalator and you're like, I'm super speed. The bowl is pretty much cool to the touch. 
I'm going to set this aside and then I'm gonna move on to my butter cream. Some, like Cindy Lou. I was hair. just about to say it looks like uh, where the Grinch lives. The Who started in Whoville. Sydney also sent me that meme of being like the Grinch didn't hate Christmas, he just hated people, which is totally valid. Mm -hmm. I was like, same. Look at this organization. In here, I have two sticks of butter, and I'm going to use my handheld mixer to start to whip this up. Oh yeah. I've got a nice room temp butter. Heavy creams in the fridge. Okay. I don't know why I need to whisper. We want this to taste like hot chocolate. To do that, you could add just cocoa powder, but instead, I found that adding actual hot chocolate, like the dried hot chocolate mix, this is just straight up Swiss Miss. Don't put the mini marshmallows in. This does have sugar in it, so don't put as much powdered sugar as you would normally put. Then into that, I'm also going to add in some powdered sugar. This is really to taste, and some vanilla, and we're going to add in some regular cocoa powder. This is heavy cream that you can add in a couple tablespoons at a time and now we're gonna whip this Ooh, baby that's a lot of chocolate and sugar and butter and Swiss Miss now that this is done Toss that, don't toss it, it's glass. A little bit of my ass. Can you grab a paper towel and you get mess on it? Nice, a poop streak. Whatever guys, don't judge me. I have a piping bag and I just have it in a measuring cup. Fill it on up. It is huge. Oh my god, I just, I feel like a baker. This is like a, a well-fitted piping bag. It's the simple things, y'all. Gonna set this aside, and then we're gonna fill up our marshmallow piping bag. That's what we're doing. Wait, where did I put it? Oh, it's over here. have come out of the oven. No, that's not where, I mean, they were there at one point. They were in the fridge, chilling, they're leveled. We're gonna start with our cake board and squeezing like a little bit of the marshmallow fluff to place it right in the middle. So it sticks and stays. And then another little bit in the middle to adhere the cake. It's time to pick favorites. Place it on the middle. We're going to fill it with the marshmallow fluff. So any which way you want to do. Mm. Farting. Ten hours later. Approximately ten hours later. Ooh, ooh. I feel like I'm gonna bust a nut. I don't even have nuts. I don't decorate on a cake stand. I'm losing my mind. So now pick the second ugliest layer. Stay pretty. Place that on top. From there, we do our final cake layer. Be gentle, choose your favorite. That looks straight to me, and I do have a pretty good gait arm. <laughs> great, great, cool, awesome, I'm hella fucking messy. Onto our buttercream, we're going to crumb coat it. Eee, really poop emoji it. I 
looks mighty fine. And I think fine is what we're aiming for. Anyway, this is gonna go into the fridge for like 20-ish, 30-ish minutes until it's like chilled to the touch. A little longer than a few minutes later. The cake is out of the fridge. It's not super straight, which, hey, sexuality, um, is a spectrum. I'm going to now just add on the buttercream and we're gonna just do our best. This marshmallow makes you unstable, just like me. I'm gonna be more positive. I'm sorry, I'm doing it. I'm being more positive. If I fuck this up now, I will be so sad. This kitchen is so messy and it's all brown. For decoration, I have a bunch of marshmallows, mini ones and very big ones. And I'm going to stack these on top. So I've cut some of them up and I have scissors if I wanna cut more, just to get like a varying sort of texture. That's not a good way to start this, is it? <laughs> yep, it's on. Fucking flames, bro. Toasty. Toasty. Toasty the snowman. Who? Bernie the snowman. Oh, guys, don't play with fire, by the way. Only you. And not taking away government funding can prevent forest fires. <laughs> Too many things on fire. Yeah, now it's on fire. Hmm, singed. To decorate it even more because too much is never enough. But these are like gold star sprinkles. I'm gonna sprinkle them on top. Oh my gosh. Yes. She comes. cake I'm going to be adding in this cake topper slash cupcake topper that is antlers and we just started selling these in the shop ah! hot chocolate as fuck as you can see hot chocolate as fuck that's a new adjective Hey, that's not that bad. That looks quite nice. That is not half bad at all. But shit, man. Maybe bakeness and the decline in peppiness and, and the increase in stress just represents what the holiday season is really about. Like you start off and you're so excited and then as it goes on, yeah, maybe that's what it is. Well, do you wanna taste it? So that has you know. I'm ready, are you ready, Ace Paul? Oh, I'm Ooh. so ready. 
And I really love this. I think it's like so whimsical. I could see this on Pinterest for like a, a woodland wedding. Or like really, really bougie people with kids. Oh yeah, that's gonna be not me. Maybe. I mean, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> I'm excited, I'm ready. I'm gonna take a huge bite. Mmm. I just want like a cup of hot chocolate to go with the cold hot chocolate. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell because I'm uploading so many things this month. And if you want to check out Asen and I, our socials will be listed down below, as well as the recipe for this. It will be on my blog. Listen to the podcast, buy my merch, mm -hmm. a cake topper, Megan Ranks' merch. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Can you see in my smile that I'm so done with this one? <laughs> Everything looks like poop. <sighs> oh yeah, the cops are coming to pick up your cake because it's so darn cute. They can't I, uh, handle it. It's not legal. I was gonna say, you and else is illegal? And then I just, all I can think of are like things that are really illegal. <laughs> Arson! Murder! Accidental and intentional. This is just an informative video. Look into my PSA. It looks like Saturn. Or is it Jupiter? Yeah, maybe it's Jupiter. Jupiter with this like constant storm. Pretty colors, constant turmoil.